Watch Ah uh, 30 Days Earlier. Uncensored on WOW Presents Plus. And I run out of my condo and drag, and they have shots of me off my balcony, sprinting down the street and drag. You had to run and drag? Outside. A back shot, also sometimes called out where entry, is when the partner enters the partner from behind. So when you're someone in the and it's going slap, 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 sounds like bongos. <laughs> Polaroid. Polaroid, baby. Oh, we have, like, what the f is happening here? Not different in a bad stories. way. Not in a bad way. Different storylines. Yeah, different storylines. Story story I love this. I don't know what it is. It's, well, the problem it's is it's sheer, piece. so I still have to wear swimsuits. Like, I still have to wear body. Yeah. But it's like trying to cut a corner, but then taking a detour. Right. Yeah. It's like when you want to do a nude illusion. <clears throat> do you want to talk a nude illusion? <laughs> That's a nude delusion. My back shots sound like bongos. That's a new delusion, honey. Hi, I'm not a stamp, but you can lick me. Tricks in the towel. And I'm sorry my giant bookstore shut down your little mom and pop operation, Meg Ryan, you bitch. It's Katya. And welcome to uh, uh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. You've got mail. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. End pose, end pose. Oh. Ooh, no one was hurt. The mail. Who's got it? Who sends it? Who's receiving it? You've got mail. So I remember when I was young, if I got mail, a birthday card, whatever, it felt euphoria on HBO. Euphoria. Eufor gender euphoria, body euphoria. Zendaya. USPS euphoria. It was so exciting. And now, almost nothing comes, comes in the mail, mail excites me, unless I bought and paid for it. I know exactly. Because even PR, like free candles, free makeup, whatever, it's fun. Whereas like you buy shoes online, they arrive, you're like, oh, can't wait to open these. Or how about, I mean, th listen, I've told you this before, but I blacked out when I received the Cirque du Soleil VHS copy of Salted Banco through the mail. I blacked out. But you knew what it was. I knew what it was and I've been waiting for it. It's, but back then, there was no Amazon. I'm sorry, there was no, like, you click on it today and it gets there tomorrow? No, that didn't exist. What the f Are you out of your mind? But then it arrived probably four to six weeks later. <laughs> no, but I, seriously, that was the original Amazon. It was just the mail. There was a piece of mail I always looked forward to as a child. Annually, um, Fleet Farm, Menards, like, uh, big box stores would send the toy catalog, the annual toy catalog. Yeah, and you would take your big marker and you would like go through and circle things you wanted, not with your family when they go shop for you for Christmas, they know what time it is. Oh, yes, I want it. What my cha -cha is, but it's Christmas. And you're like, well, I'm not gonna ask for the N64 because we're poor. Sure. So what's the what's the, the attainable N32. version of that? You know, just the, the controller. <laughs> you know? Just the controller. Just no. the game. <laughs> you had an original Nintendo, right? I had a Nintendo. Did I had a Pong? Sig no, we, no, but not that old. I never had an Atari. Okay. Okay. Because you were poor. No, we had money. We didn't have money, but oh, so you had money. <laughs> I love it how like you can't be poor, you can be rich. We were like in a socioeconomic bracket that is like lower middle class. Poor. <laughs> not anymore, not anymore. I've seen your teeth. I know you didn't come from where I came from. No. Do you know where I went for vacation when I was a kid? The swamp. The dentist. <laughs> Once every five years. The dentist. <laughs> they put the, give me the laughing gas. No one would touch my teeth. They would just <laughs> <laughs> They would just <laughs> me. They would just get on top of me and <laughs> me. For vacation. <laughs> for vacation. And I wake up with a sunburn. I wonder what happened. <laughs> the just dentist wanted to <laughs> me. Look at this hair. Oh, no wonder he wanted to <laughs> me. <laughs> You're back I have been to the dentist in drag. Did you know that? Yes, I was there. Let me talk to you about work ethic. Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. There are two types of people in this world. People that won't go to the dentist and drag while they're on set, and people who will. I skipped my grandma's funeral, because I had a show. But I went to the dentist and drag. <laughs> Girl, f your grandma. Wait, you f are you serious? Yes. Your back shot's out. I had shows in P-Town, I was like, I can't go. Oh, She's not gonna remember you didn't go, you know what I mean? Whatever. I find funerals a little traumatizing. I don't want to see a dead body. Like, I don't know. I mean, there's certainly not a fun time. Viewing the body. Stop showing the about. body. Stop showing the body. I can't show my nipple on Instagram, but we can go look at my dead mother.
Like, what are we talking about? Or how about when you're on a, I don't know, you're an actress in your 50s and you're starring on a, 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 a HBO show and you take your, uh, Sex in the City. Mm. Carrie takes the ashes to Paris. And, and I, I'm over this, I'm over the ashes. I would love to see it scooping a little like uh, protein powder into her smoothie every day. Like that makes more sense to me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think we should eat the dead, but go off girl, <laughs> go off. I mean, what else do you, the, so the dead are just decorative. They're in an urn on your mantle. No, I think when you have somebody's ashes, the right instinct is to scatter them, let them go, let them like. Carrying ashes for years. Slowly ingesting them over the course. Well, of that's fine. So what kind of mail do you hate? I want you to tell me the kind of mail you hate, but we're gonna say it, I'm gonna go one, two, three, I'm gonna say it, and I, and I, and I Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three. Charles Schwab. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, what do they I, want? I don't know. I know what they want. They want to send me mail. But, they want okay. to send me paper if you're, documents. Yeah, if you're our accountant and you're watching this, can you help us go paperless? No, no, no this First is of beyond all, human capabilities. I've gone into the spiritual realm. <laughs> I've sought help from the other planes, P-L-A-N-E-S, to help me with this to go. dilemma. Oh. Charles Schwab will find my friend's address, yeah. my mom's address. And if I, the moment I think that I have gone paperless, Charles Schwab shows up with a ream of like paper. Like a Babadook. Yeah. With, with, <laughs> with a, with a, like Sarah Jessica a roll Parker. of wrapping paper. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker with an urn and a giant <laughs> folder of Charles Schwab bank statements. And she's scattering them all throughout my life every day and she will not <laughs> leave me alone. Yeah. This, the mail, it, it, is a, it is a tapestry of emotions ranging from absolute disgust to giddy excitement and everything in between. Yeah, and the only, ch I get weird checks, like when you do TV stuff, you get residual checks that are 30 cents, <clears throat> 50 cents. Those right. are like funny to receive. I got paid $37 from the worst gig I've ever done in my life. Just like that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was the urn. Yeah, you were the urn. <laughs> and big, just, like big, just like that. Yeah, big you big died, yeah. Man, I love, I love the mail. I. I don't love the mail. I wish, I wish everything was on auto pay. You don't like getting checks in the mail? Well, what do I hate more? Real junk mail or email junk mail? Email junk mail's worse. Telemarketer phone calls. Girl, recently someone called and said, don't you think you need a vacation? And I said, what do you got? Like, I was just like, what? Pitch I, me. I was just like, you know what? You're a telemarketer. I'm in a kind of good mood. What do you got? He was like, you need a getaway in Palm Springs. And I said, I have a motel in Palm Springs. What else you got? He said, Florida. And I said, I'm pretty sure you can be killed for being gay in Florida. I'm gay, did you know that? And he was like, I didn't know that. And I said, anything else? Bye. You, you outmarketed the telemarketer. Totally. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm like, why are you afraid of success? Turns out I got 75 bucks off him. Yes. I booked him a room you at the Turkey Motel. <laughs> I'm you're, happy to stay on the phone with you. Just give me your credit card. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm a good salesman, but if you're selling something, call me at your own risk. You'll be I, like, I, I can't believe I bought 15 items of Trixie Cosmetics. I'm like, bye. I've turned the beat around so much with fear of the telephone. I dare someone to call me. Girl. I dare someone to call me because if I pick up, it's on site. If you ask me how I'm doing and I'm not doing well, <laughs> you're about to find out. You will find out. You will hang up on me. Yeah. Oh, how about this? I get mail from my neighbor. Your neighbor sends you mail? No, oh, you no, get no, their no. mail. I get their mail. Okay. But it's, well, I, you're like, yeah, I go across the street and grab it from their box. I do. <laughs> I, but I. You're like, I've been it. getting your mail. You're like, that's weird. I'm like, not really. I've been getting out of your mailbox. <laughs> so it's not really that weird. I do pay some bills via um, envelopes and stuff. Me too. Yeah, I like it. I love it too. It's, it's a uniquely satisfying activity. Of course, it's outdated. I don't know what it is I like about it. Because there's a start and there's a finish. Well, you know what else? Like, pay your bill online. I'm like, make a password? Am I a Nikki fan? <laughs> make a password? Are you fucking crazy? I'm gonna make another password? And then what? LA Water and Power needs you to remember your name and password. I'm like, girl, I don't know who I am, <laughs> who I was, and who I will become. We're talking about mail that comes to your house. You've got mail. What we need to talk about is the disposition of the workers at the USPS office, honey. Unless you ship packages all the time, when you have to ship a package, it is a little confusing. I don't know everything. God forbid you bring a box and you have your own tape. They look at you like, do you think this is a soup kitchen, bitch? Yeah. I'm like, aren't we at the post office? Yeah. They're like, go get that roll of tape. It's $12. You're like, <laughs> okay, perfect. You know, Have you ever bought merch from me before 2017, let's say, 16, 16, 17? I shipped all of it. I shipped it from, I would pack the orders in my bedroom, walk a block to the post office on Doheny. They'd be like, 
you this So bag you know you can arrange to have it picked up at your house, right? And I'd be like, yeah, I don't know how to do all that. But here's my 40 pink bags. Can you sticker them all in? I want to go and have an interaction with the person. I really do. And I still want the mailman to fuck me. No. Have you ever had keys made at Home Depot? I, I did it. There's a machine. I know. I, there's one at Rite Aid. You do? <laughs> Stick my dick in the machine. <laughs> Love it. Love that. The machine. Love it. Remember when a killer or somebody with a real big axe to grind would go to the trouble of cutting out letters from a magazine? Which also meant they went to buy magazines. Magazines. Or they were at a dentist's office and they just took them. You know what I mean? Very not suspicious. Cutting yeah. out letters at a dentist's office with, with a black rubber mask on. <laughs> with a black ski mask on and rubber gloves. And then you got it in the mail. And then, oh my God, we can't dust for fingerprints. They're wearing you know, rubber gloves. Also, we can't analyze the handwriting because it's cut out from a magazine. Dusting for fingerprints, that, that seems fake. I know it is real, but that seems fake, bitch. The best piece of mail is a paycheck. You know, sometimes colleges or big gigs will take months to pay you. What about, what about, what about acceptance letters from, from universities and colleges? Oh yeah, isn't there like a lore of like, if it's a thin envelope, it's a no. If it's not a packet. If it's a packet, it's a yes. It's a yes, but if it's just a, a, an envelope, it's not great. No. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but I remember I, I applied to five schools and I wanted to get in my number one. They said, sorry to this man. But look at you now. Yeah. You have an honorary doctorate at Empire Beauty <laughs> uh, School off the, in yeah. Irvine, California. De the DeVry Institute has offered me a 10% uh, off their <laughs> correspondence course. Yeah. yeah. The University of Phoenix is yeah. letting you get your nail tech license online. <laughs> I, all I know is my back shots on my bongo. <laughs> One time I pumped some old lady's gas in Wasaki, Wisconsin when I was like in middle school. And she said, here you go, honey, go have some nice candy. That bitch gave me a nickel and a dime. A nickel and a dime, go have some nice candy. Where the f are you shopping, bitch?